เล่นตรงกลางเขตอย่างนี้นะมีพีมวันหนาบนบนอ้นหนาครับในสกุลนี้เลยไปดูเลยของเลยที่เคมอลเวย์ from Myanmar Burma for this event two people from Myanmar and one from Norway so his name is Lim Tong Kao Ken America na on Zomite Ibetina Tupa 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 Kasi na Kung pa'y may na Amerika na ang itanaw ka ay tala isong ipite ay ikuwan tangin ng nung set sa kentiyan man nila. Ngayon itong kamkien ay ikuwan nila Amerika na ang isong ikente ng nung set ngayon. Amerika ang kampay na din ten hamsap ng may na ni bay di sa kanun ten Ani sun sunu to bisa aludu ben sorry ti to kiki ni mek mok ni na dona dona zang song du tuai ni to kiki jang a lai ge to ka kiki pak nao ben ting kum ta lu dei na a dona zang song du to ตัวไอ้คงอยู่ห้างเจอหน้าเป็นตัวกองสนาบไปสอรี่จีกำเลี้ยงตัวกิกิมปั้งหมอกันเลยหำสาเป็นอยู่เด็กอืมอเมริกันเจสอรี่เป็นเป็นดอลลาร์จ่ายสมบูรณ์บังมาได้เจ้าอามาบ้าดังเด้งนี่น้ำลูกให้เจ้าเด้งอาบ้าที่บ้านเรานี่ตามมาหน้าตัว Kong Tun Bi, Siamang Gel, Mang Pao Pao Thien Khen, Zong Pao Wa Dye Ni Na Pao, Mang Pao Wa Pao So Ni, Mang Pao Bek Tua Sa, A Tam Ma Tam Ta Nua Ni Ni Kana Ni Sa Cha Ngam, Ta Nua Sa Ngo Lu. Ku Tung Sa Ti Pa, Dok Tha Deo Kha Mi Na, Pa Siam Ni Na Ma Sa Ni Na, Ta Yung Kwan Ho Ka Tung Yen Na Wai Le, Ni Ni Na Mi Dye Yi, Lung Gun Na, Ta Ng Tung Ding Ni Na, Why home? Mani na, you don't take a hero. Eh, Kayman, Kong Mei Sen Mai Ninga, 2011, Zong Mi Ai Yula, Anga, Niang Niu Kut Benga, Tung Wa Mi Ning Ni Mano. Wa Kin Cha Ae Ma Tung Ki Tua Kha Thay Yai Yi, Kol Pilan Song, Jepisian Polbia Pasta Kadai Asunoma Siama Cika Ini mana? Ini yang lain nak Amel itu pun Nasi yang Amel kiri, naya Amau Amel, Amel Zohoi, Cina ni ni ke? Okay. Lumba apa ini? แต่เมื่อรู้ของหมู่เจียงนี่นะอเมริกันกำเป็นทุพังหะกำพี่นะอเมริกันก็มาตุ้มเป็นมาเป็นทุพังหะโลกีตุ้มโลกีนี่เห็นไหมจุสายาจุดูเก็บปลาปลาสตาร์เตอร์จุสายาเก็บตุ้งเงี้ยแล้วลูกอันนี้มีจอมกระเจี๊ยบจุดูเก็บจุสายาไปเนี่ยตัวอีกตัวเนี่ยจุสายาไปอันนู้นเดี๋ยวอันสายาไปทุกประมีเด็กทุกประมาณนี้กลับมาไปตัวเองก็เลยสั่งแต่ก็อมอเมริกาเราอมตรงนี้เด็กทุกประมาณไม่ยิ่งว่าตัวนั้นทุกประมาณน่าสงวนตัวป้าพ่อที่ตรงนั้นนี่ตัดยมไอ้ตรงตัวนี้ไอ้กุ๊บดินเสียแต่เงินนี่นะครับสุขภาพโมโตโฮโมโตโฮเล่อินกวนกิตตนาจิตรูเป็นโอ้โหละมั้ง Moto kini lo, lelai mana nak aku? Kebang, kehol ben sapu limo, sapu ben tu tak mesti mau kai ben. Wah mata tu kita ni kau kau. Sekarang kita tengah di pen dengan lagi, ada dia. Ilu nama mama, zuk 
All right, this time we are so happy to have uh, Police Officer Scott Word from Glencoe Police. Let's go to him. Glencoe Police Department uh, uh, Police Officer Scott Word here. Uh, go to the ball field. Can you see him? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's a privilege to be here. Um, I'm, I'm glad to uh, help with information uh, to give to you to make life a little bit easier uh, in your transition. Um, I'd like to start talking a little bit about traffic laws. Uh, in America. Specifically in Oklahoma. The Oklahoma State In Oklahoma, you are uh, required to have an Oklahoma driver's license uh, before you can drive a car. And if some of you have moved here from another state in the United States, uh, you can drive uh, for 30 days on that driver's license if you have one. Uh, but then you have to get an Oklahoma driver's license within 30 days. Do we have any licensed drivers in the crowd? Excellent. Uh, as you may have uh, already figured out, driving in, in Oklahoma is probably a lot different than it is in your home country. <laughs> Don't get to drive nearly as fast as you do back home. So you don't get to drive nearly as fast as you do back home. Uh, that, that's really important here in the United States. Uh, we try to keep people uh, in some sort of order when they're driving to uh, And it's also important for uh, safety reasons. Uh, we have. A lot of people on the road uh, going to and from work, to and from school. And it's my job to, uh, to make sure that you uh, observe the speed limits, drive the speed limit. Uh, I would also like to point out a big difference between police officers here in the United States uh, as opposed to police officers in your home country. Most of us are pretty nice. Here. Right. Here. Uh, we are also not required to represent our government's political ideals or agenda. In as much as I'm a Christian, and I go to church, and I get to attend church in, in this uniform if I so choose. Uh, and, and police officers in the United States are, are here to help you. Uh, our, our job. And our job is to protect and serve the members of our community, no matter who they may be.
Uh, I'd also like to talk a little bit about uh, places that you can find information about traffic laws. Um, you can get on uh, the internet uh, and go to um, www.dps.state.ok.us. That is the uh, Department of Public Safety for the state of Oklahoma. <laughs> and they have all, all kinds of information about your driver's licenses, uh, your insurance on your vehicles, uh, your registration on your vehicles, and all that good stuff. Uh, that's another requirement in the state of Oklahoma to operate a motor vehicle. It has to be registered to you. Uh, and it also has to have insurance. You have to have insurance in the state of Oklahoma before you can drive. If you don't have insurance or registration or a driver's license and you drive in the state of Oklahoma, guys like me can write you a bunch of tickets. That cost you a lot of money. Uh, the other site that you can uh, visit on the internet, uh, it is uh, it has a, an entire listing of Oklahoma state statutes uh, that are traffic traffic laws, criminal laws, and civil laws. And that is uh, OSCN.net, www.oscn.net. Oh, and another thing in the United States uh, and, and Oklahoma that we take very seriously when you're in your cars is uh, uh, drinking or consuming alcohol. I see quite a few young people in the crowd, so I'm sure you like to go out and enjoy the nightlife that uh, Tulsa and the surrounding areas have to offer. But you need to use moderation uh, when you're out enjoying that nightlife if you consume alcohol. In Oklahoma, the legal limit uh, to operate a motor vehicle while you've been drinking is 0 0.08 or more alcohol concentration. Uh, and that's not very much alcohol. Uh, it's very, very little. Uh, and if you happen to get pulled over while you've been drinking and driving, and you, you, if you have an Oklahoma driver's license, you agreed by signing your name to that license that you will either take a test or have your driver's license uh, suspended if you refuse to take that test. And the worst part of that as well is the end result would be you going to jail for breaking that statement. So again, yeah, just be very careful. Um, if you like to consume alcohol, that's fine. Call a taxi. It's much safer. <laughs> or walk.
I, some of you may not understand exactly uh, what to do when you come into contact with guys like me. Uh, again, we're here to help, but we're also here to protect you. Uh, and since you're new to the area and new to new laws, uh, we're here to protect you from yourself, basically, if you, if you don't understand those laws. So if you see in your rear view mirror uh, a police car, most of them are clearly marked uh, with stripes and insignia that say police on the side, and they have red and blue lights on top. All Oklahoma police cars are required to have red and blue lights. And if you see those lights behind you in your vehicle, you need to pull to the right as soon as it's safe to do so. And once you find a safe place to pull over, we will usually get out and make contact with you. Uh, and request your driver's license and your insurance. There are any number of reasons that you could get pulled over. One could be speeding above the posted speed limit. Uh, failing to stop at a stop sign or a red light, traffic light. Uh, failing to use your turn signal, changing lanes, changing lanes unsafely. And in your home country, I'm sure changing lanes is done at will. Here in Oklahoma, you have to signal, you have to use your turn signal, and then change lanes, use your, use your turn signal. What are some of your worst experiences with stopping people and they keep going and they are being charged for them? Yeah, and, and if, you, if you fail to stop, with for a police officer that has his red and blue lights on, if you keep going, uh, if you don't want to get caught, or whatever the case may be, if you if you run uh, and we end up catching you, then you will go to jail for uh, eluding. Uh, several other criminal infractions can lead you know from that. Uh, but I would also like to put you at ease that most of the time when you see red and blue lights behind you, if you see a police officer trying to pull you over, um, here in the United States, it's okay. You may have done something wrong, but the guy going, that's going to approach you is, is, not, is not going to uh, harm you. Uh, we're not going to uh, we're not going to be overly uh, rude or mean. Uh, we're we're going to stop you and let you know what you did wrong. You may get a traffic ticket, but... Uh, Sometimes you just get a verbal warning or a written warning. Alright, if you can stay here for a while. And I would like to have a lawyer come up here. Uh party, party, and party, Yeah. Do I say it Ben Sydney na attorney Kip MacArthur Gina ama in one boy na lam to kisaya thong ke ke ai jong in amu dei te jong ina tu alam a Sydney a sen sa ma ma khadi na a dei ni bo kan nong sang kin ma la ma dei dei kin nong la mo lai khadi po thi na dei na tu a khat ve ya ama mo lai ni le attorney Kip I have requested him to talk about domestic violence, basically, and then that is in some questions and answers. So. Well, thank you very much for having me and for inviting me here. It's good to see such a wonderful crowd. Thank you for being in this country. 
ยังตะกาผมไปเจอกันในหลุมดำมากไหมตะกาบัวหนังไปมาหนังหลุมดำมากไหมไม่มีเซวันหนัวอาม่าเป็นสิ่งนี้ไม่ใช่เราเองนะตัวไรที่เป็นภาษาเซนไลเซนเราสามารถเขียนจดหมายที่เซนเป็นแรงชนิดแรงชนิดชื่อไปแล้วและในสมัยเรียนศึกษาปีหนึ่งปีเก่าผมเรียนถึงแอดมิรัลเจนสันและประเทศอินเดียบุรีมาเซนเราสามารถไล่นะก่อนการมาเซนเรียมาสเปนเป็นเสียจุดดับตามทุกตามทุกสินค้าหรือสินค้าอะไร I know that many of you are the spiritual descendants of that mission, and I'm very excited about it. Thank you for your support. 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 Thank you. I want to say a few words about uh, domestic violence. I want to say a few words about domestic violence. I want to say a few words about domestic violence. Domestic violence is defined as Unjustified assault and battery among members of a household. In one sense, a hang kitchen or a hang to be or a kitchen sector, no, siatana, no tana, to be said. So this would be where husbands would strike their wives, or wives would strike their husbands. And in, in this state, that is illegal. <laughs> if you do it, you can go to jail. And then you will have to hire a lawyer like me, and it will be very expensive. <laughs> and my cards are down on the table, right down here. <laughs> Also, in Oklahoma, it is appropriate, it is legal, to spank your children. But it is illegal to beat your children. Sorry, did you say it's illegal to spank? Oh, so, assault and battery on children is legal as long as it's not abusive. It would be appropriate to spank your children uh, with your hand on their bottom. But it is it is not appropriate and it is illegal to hit your children on their head, their face, their stomach, all right, or their back. If you were to hit your child on the face, the head, the back, the stomach, this officer will arrest you. And then again, you have to hire me, and it's very expensive. <laughs> um, what we're trying to do in this country is to get more and more parents not to spank their children at all. <laughs> We're trying. All of us are trying to learn that violence is not a good solution to problems. 
啊，我唔得啊，多嘅嘅，你係生咗碌嘅人，即係病，啊，啲無奈嘅。With our children, we should try to find peaceful and non-violent ways to teach them um, uh, how to live a good life. And between husbands and wives, violence um, is absolutely forbidden and illegal. If you are in a serious disagreement with your spouse, either husband or wife, and things are becoming passionate and angry, then it's better to Depart from each other and uh, don't talk about it and go to a friend or go to your pastor. If, however, there's a fight and there's an act of violence, you may be convicted of domestic assault and battery. You might end up spending one full year in the county jail. You would lose your job. You might lose your marriage. So it's not a good thing. If you are in a marriage in which there is violence, please do something about it now. Make a commitment to stop it. Remember that Christ taught us not to use violence, but to be peacemakers. Otherwise, if you are in a relationship where there is violence, reach out to your pastor or a counselor or a friend and get some help, but don't stay in that situation. If you are caught by the police, if the police stop you and you got the ticket. In case if you fail to pay the, the fee, what will happen? Uh, if you fail to pay the fee or uh, go to court? Um, the judge will issue a warrant for your arrest and also notify the Department of Public Safety that you did not appear or pay and they will suspend your driver's license for that as well. What is the first one? The judge will... Okay. And that means if you have a warrant for your arrest and you're stopped again, um, or you have a warrant for your arrest, he checks, checks on you to see if you're wanted, 
they'll find out you have a warrant and you can be arrested and taken to jail. So the best thing to do is immediately upon release from jail, they should they should get a lawyer to help them contact the Department of Public Safety as soon as to be when the officer arrests you, he gives you a piece of paper. And that is your temporary license to drive for 30 days. But only 30 days. So that's why it's important to contact the Department of Public Safety as soon as possible. I would like to add to that. Um, 
sometimes um, police officers make mistakes. We're human too. And sometimes we may not be the most patient people. But again, we do make mistakes and, and, and our actions are, are, are driven mostly to protect you and to protect the public around us. And if you don't, if you don't speak any English and, and you're pulled over, it's imperative that you, as best you can, let the officer know that immediately. Most of us are patient enough to allow you to call somebody that does speak English and can translate. And, and we can speak to your translator over the phone. Again, and, and some of us, uh, I'm, I'm a very patient man, but some of us, <laughs> some of us are out. If you come across a police officer that is not patient, not 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 very kind. The easiest thing for you to do is just be compliant. <laughs> it, it may not ultimately turn out the way you want it to in the beginning, but in the end, I think it will work out in your favor. <laughs> Okay. One more quick question here. I don't know what I'm saying. Hello? Hello? Oh, okay. I'm going to have to limit speed band songs. I'm going to have to have to have to have to have to <laughs> that will again depend upon the, the patience of the policeman. <laughs> most, most policemen. Um, whether they're uh, a county sheriff or a highway patrolman or a, a local policeman such as myself, have a have a, uh, a discretion to, to use, and we usually have a threshold. If you're going in a eight to ten miles per hour over the limit, you're probably going to get pulled over. Um, and if you're compliant and everything checks out okay, you may may not get a ticket for that. But if you're going 10 miles an hour and above over the speed limit, uh, there's a really good chance you're going to get a ticket. In a a valo, a limit valo, that yet when they saw the car a valo na payule, 
ของกิคองสักทีนะสองอาวาเลกสอสลุกมอบางเจ้าที่พักที่บางเย็นเราเสร็ It's a very good question. When I'm not working, I like to drive fast too. ตอนคอยจะได้มาไม่เกี่ยวนะคนนี้มาหนักก็เสร็จเราจะก็มาหาเขาหรือว่าเขาบอกเลย So I'm pretty lenient with Peters. ในเจ้าหน้าหาเขาเดี๋ยวต้องมาหนุนเกี่ยวมาชุนว่ามาหมาบอกเลยเขามาตอนนี้ก็ต้องหาตัวชุนเองแหละ Pray, pray that you Get to see him. He would have won the podium. One more, the last one. Okay, thank you for coming. Come in, but I'm gone. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. I'm not doing anything. Uh, do do this hard work. I'm not doing anything. 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 เบียร์ก็เลยหายพิคัดที่หลานได้ส่งซื้อมาให้เลยเขาพิคัดเพราะบางคนจะตัดที่เยี่ยมคือตัวเงินให้เลยตัวเป็นคัดมั้ง Let me say first, he will let you know, uh, so for the 0.08, what is it? What is the equivalent to the, like one can of? In Oklahoma, we have uh, our beers is considered low point beer. It's 3.2 percent alcohol. Uh, But in, it also in, in national. Oklahoma, uh, they are there being uh, three cents, three point two, three point two. That's about two liters. Ni mo, that's about two liters. That's about ni. Uh, alcohol, zu zu zu. So how now? You know, it's just like that. Come on. National standards are based upon higher alcohol contents, but that doesn't necessarily mean you can consume more alcohol. Uh, one drink of beer in Oklahoma is considered eight ounces. Everybody knows one that. One drink, not just one can of one drink. What, one, what the national average considers as one drink is is going to be eight ounces of beer or one ounce of liquor. One drink. The size. What do you want to know the size of the beer? One whole can or half a can or. Eight ounces. All all the beer cans. Or most beer cans in, in Oklahoma, the smallest they come in is, is 12 ounces. And, and, and by standards, eight ounces is considered one full drink. So if you have two 12 ounce beers, uh, you've actually consumed almost three full drinks. Two two beers. And depending upon what you're drinking, if you do one ounce of liquor is considered one full drink as well. If you have, depending upon your tolerance to alcohol, uh, if you have, if you consume one full ounce of liquor and two drinks uh, on top of that, whether they be liquor or beer, uh, there's a very strong possibility that you would be at 0.08 or above. It, that that's something that the state of Oklahoma is very serious about. So you need to be very very careful when you're out having a good time. Uh, pay attention to how much you you've consumed, and if you need to wait a little while before you drive, uh, do so. I strongly urge you to do that. And if you can't, if you don't have time to wait, if you have to get home, uh, then let somebody who hasn't been consuming alcohol drive, or again call a taxi. If you live close to your, if you're having fun close to your house, then. Walk your car, walk home. ตัวเบลตอกนาตักตักทรงเลยเกย์นาตอมพัดอาเจียนเลี้ยงนาของตรงที่สมัยนี้
อินกอลคอมต้องเก่งแต่เลยฮะกอลคอมต้องเป็นเนี่ยปริไอสมุเรียนเต็มไปตักเชียงอีเป็นกีฬาวิกิซาตากันมอต้องสุ่มขนาดกุศลกันอ่ะเอามาประดนไอสมุทรปีจีดาคันเฮเอามาเป็นนักมอต้องตุ้งตุ้งเอามาตุ้งนั่นนะตุ้ยนะไอ้ว่าไปจ่อตะกี้หลักของจีดาคันเฮที่จะมาเป็นตัวที่เราซอยนะมอต้องสุ่มขนาดนักกุศลกันเลยฮะเอามาอะไรดิงมอดูดิงมอคู่ขันดิงจีดาคันเฮที่ไอสมุทรปีจีขันตัวขันจงไอเทียนเกลงใช่ไหมเนี่ยอตุ้งมาซาบอกคดีตัวรังเปลี่ยนนักเทโลนนักผู้สวมไว้เจ้ามาเด็กเต้นอ่ะเอาเอาอาวุธของมอสันของมอสายนักบอกของจีของมอสังเกตินักตัวเป็นเอ่ออาเชียนจะไม่ได้ยึดกิจยังไงที่ He's giving advice to the public here that in the cultural difference back home if the police stop you you don't wait for the police to come you c o p your car to give respect to the police officer who will stop you so it's totally opposite cultural norm So he's educating people that here you are not supposed to come out of the car because you might. When they come out of the car, what do you think? When I want someone, want someone to push or check it, bang, the saw here and the man change the damn channel again. That makes a patient man like me very nervous. Give him a look, boy. Damn man, I'm not out. Some man hit him. And most police officers will approach you uh, in your vehicle if they. But if you come out of the car, you are not supposed to come out of the car. If they want you to get out of your vehicle, they will ask you to get out of your vehicle. The o k l a h o m a Highway Patrol uh, does that on a regular basis. They'll open their door and they'll look at you in your rear, rear view mirror and they'll tell you to come here. The highway patrol work, drives the black and white cars with the Oklahoma map on the side. It's a big highway to our our next p o l i t i c a a o m e a m o t o r t i Brown shirts, big funny hats. Look who, look who, look who, funny hats. Lung Nam, that's it. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Lung Nam, let's give them thanks. Residency Director, Program Director, he na. Ama tuni vital kato. Kodang apay lo kamo ibay na. Ama tangin tua siawante lakasiawante sebebele siawante siabebe. Faculty member, medical residency faculty member. Anang kadong paite na. Pasyal ibay na to. Dr. Chris Crawford paite na ba? Huwag siya siya na yung wala sa kanya. Dr. Dunnick is sorry that he couldn't be with you. Do I say sorry, Dr. Dunnick? Can I come by to do a bit of a little bit more? He apologizes because I'm not as good looking or as smart as he is. Okay, can I come up? Okay, I'm as I'm not coming here alone. I'm as I'm not coming alone. Can I come? Can I come? Tad, Tad, I'm my age. But I, I tell him I'm not quite as old as he is. So I'm my age. I'm as I'm not. Oh, I'm not. Okay, check it out. Tad, I'm there. I'm going to share a few things with you, so we'll try to bring up the slides. Sorry, I didn't know my password on my computer, so I just revealed to him now. So I'll tell you, I want to talk to you about a few major topics and then have a lot of time for questions. I think that's kind of important. First of all, I'd just like to see who has gotten to establish with the doctor here and who has had this. 
Good. So one of the things I would like to encourage all of you to do is it's better to establish with a doctor before you have to see them because you're sick. <laughs> So we'll talk more about that. You can go to the next slide. So there are a few illnesses that we treat and see a lot of in America. So we'll talk about these today. So the first is diabetes. Diabetes is essentially high blood sugar. I'll tell you about it today because oftentimes people don't know that they have it, but they have it for many years before we find it. And diseases like this are part of why it's very good to see a physician every year, even if you're not sick. Diabetes can affect the blood system, the nervous system, and the eyes. The nerves? Uh, like the sensation, the skin. Yeah. It can cause things like blindness and heart attack and stroke. Next slide. A stroke in our language, we don't have a direct one, so. Okay. Okay. This is a picture of the back of an eye, and this is what we see. This is what we see when somebody has bad diabetes and can go blind from it. Yeah. So sometimes a change in your vision, sometimes if you go to the eye doctor, they'll ask you to come see someone like me so they can check you for diabetes. Next slide. The next thing to talk about is high blood pressure. Every time you visit a doctor, they'll check your blood pressure and they'll tell you if it's at a healthy level or if it's too high. This is another one that people may not know that they have unless they're seeing a doctor, you know, every year, even if you're not sick. The next one I wanted to talk to you about was stroke. I'll describe it. So, so, blood constantly flows to your brain and it allows you to think and it allows your whole body to function. When something stops the blood flow, like a plaque, part of the brain tissue dies. So people may not be able to use an arm, they may not be able to use a leg. And it's usually on the same side of the body. The other thing is people may start to slur their speech or not be able to speak. Yeah. Here in America, if we know that this happened all of a sudden to someone, usually an older person, we 
It's an emergency, and it's a reason to call 911 right away. Because there are times, if we catch it quickly enough, we can help to reverse it. Next slide. The next thing I wanted to talk about was safety for the children for just a couple of minutes. One of the biggest things is helmets. So as kids are out playing or riding bikes or skating, it's very important to have a helmet on that. We see children too often that have hurt their head. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about for your children that I think is very important is vaccination. There's a schedule that our government has put out to tell people when to have the shots done. So usually a baby is seen every few months up until one year old. And then they're seen like every three to five months until they're two years old. And so children two and old should be seen every year. Two years old, three years old, four years old. And especially when children are young, shots are given that contain little molecules or parts of a certain disease. Most of the shots aren't able to cause the disease that they protect children against. So you wouldn't have to be scared about your child getting the disease because they got the shot. And this has been very important to try to wipe out some very, very bad diseases that children can get. One of these shots, you can go to the next slide. One of these shots is the flu shot. And each year, we can give a shot to protect against the flu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for example, our clinic, Family Medical Care, we're going to be opening a clinic at 76th and Riverside. So we'll be close by. But right now, we're down at St. John. You can call our clinic or any clinic that you find if your child needs a flu shot or immunizations. And I'm especially honored to be here because in his image, my, um, my program, in his image uh, organization, the Poesia, yeah. Help to travel to Burma and provide relief after the tragedy there. Yeah. So you are all very special in our hearts and we would be glad to see you. I wanted to spend the next few minutes talking about a few things that are dangerous in America. And these things are, what I will say about these things is different than what the media or TV people will tell you about them. Oftentimes if you look at a TV commercial or a magazine ad, 
It almost looks like you need alcohol to have fun. And that's not true. So you guys saw how long we spent talking about alcohol with the police officer. And that's because most people who use alcohol irresponsibly end up visiting with either a police officer or a lawyer. So this is a dangerous thing, it can be a dangerous thing. And it's something as a physician that I recommend avoiding. Sometimes people drink because life is hard. And it can help to see to ease things at first. But alcohol makes things worse. If you're trying to use it, I know as a Christian physician that Christ is the only one that can help us through hard times or transitions. And sometimes people turn to this instead of Christ. But this will just leave you empty. <laughs> These may not be quite as bad as alcohol. But they still are dangerous from a health perspective. If you were to have one every now and then, it may not be so bad. But what these do is give you a lot of sugar, which can create diabetes like we talked about. And they have certain things in them that make your heart work harder or make your brain work faster. So it may give you energy, <coughs> but it's just for a short time. And our government has even put out statements cautioning young people or working people to avoid using these too much. There are things that you can have in this country that even our government recommends against using too much. And again, Christ offers us strength that comes from Him and energy and... So, if a day is long and hard, let's turn to Him instead of to this. That's another example. So this is just a picture of the different organ systems that can be affected by alcohol or by too many energy drinks. Over time it can affect your brain and your heart. So thank you for letting me talk to you today. I really encourage you to, to see a doctor, even if you feel well, just till you begin your relationship with your doctor. Okay. Questions and answer time. Yes, at the back. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it.
七龙咱人咧，就变忘记啊，去钓起养起来。啊！你喂牛，那那几两蛋啊？我记得，几十两。哎，你你几天啊？几天呀？你。Oh, what are the symptoms that one has hypertension, high blood pressure, and also diabetes? So the symptoms of diabetes um, are related to too much sugar. 伊那多，伊食昆布，阿昆淡多，那好容易吃不上点了嘛。So sometimes you can be thirsty all the time. 那当阿大个鸡咧。Or you can feel like you have to urinate all the time. Ah, so some so what then gets it? How many like that? You can also feel very tired and weak. Ah, tall then get, thin then get. Although that one can be associated with a lot of other things. Ah, ah, tall, ah, hard, can be a change. Ah, you know, two or three things, 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 things. Ah, so from day now, I'm getting some more. Sometimes what people notice will be change in their vision. Ah, they just have to walk. Ah, be a little bit more lazy. How long take it? Or change in their skin. Right? Especially in the feet or in the hands, it can be numb or tingly. High blood pressure can be something that is silent at times. Sometimes people can complain of headaches that can be related to blood pressure. But that can be a lot of other things as well. The problem is if people have high blood pressure for many years, it can affect the heart and cause a heart attack. Or it can affect the kidneys. Did I answer your question? Okay. Yeah, I got it. 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 Among the pops like Coca Cola, Pepsi, uh, among this uh, family, which ones are not good for? Which, which ones cause diabetes? So, if you're going to drink Cokes, and I would recommend just water, water <laughs> We have a lot of bottle of water to help yourself here. Yeah. Um, if you're going to drink Cokes, in general, diet products are have have less direct sugar. Diet the uh, In the regular plastic bottles of Coke. Yeah, cook plastic bowl to cut some up. Usually about um, between a quarter and a third of that is just sugar. There's some there's some fake sugars in some of the diet products. If people aren't sure if those are good for you, but it wouldn't be as much likely to cause diabetes and things like that. And I might just say on that comment, um, really the two biggest things you can do for your health are diet and exercise. To be bad, but not just that. You know, never don't get off the exercise. Not in here. I don't keep thinking back there. I said, if you're wondering about health, I try to think of how God created us, and He created us in a garden with fruits and vegetables where we were. What's in the air? Oh, don't mind my zoom. I didn't want to. Ah, me and me got hold of the top. <laughs> so, less processed foods, water, those are good ideas. 
จะเรียกโปรเซสเป็นมันจะเรียกเป็นกาที่หมดก็ยเดตอมสัดีนะตุยเสียงตอนนี้เป็นอะไรจะได้บ่อยแบบนี้ if you if you were good about diet and exercise you probably wouldn't have to see me too much exercise แต่อันนี้กินออกแล้วจะเสียวันตอนนั้นกินมูนุตอมแซมแซมดีฮีทอำลายยากเลย so many okay the ladies first okay at the back Yeah, then, yeah, so come on, yeah, you may get it. Yeah. Yeah, you've got a atom bed, and you've got a bunch of people, and you've got a bunch of people, and you've got a bunch of people, ในลีเล่นหลังที่เก่าเจียงมังคุงวานีโมเดลแลนด์ก็เป็นจีดัมหนาอ่ะเอาไว้อีอย่างอาจารย์เช่นอ่ะตอนนั้นคงวานีโมเดลแลนด์อีเจ้าไม้บังแต่งของที่ไทยเด่นจีดัมเนาะ So what is that the 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 bottom line necessity for sleeping hours if we sleep every night three and a half to four hours would it be a good thing or a bad thing That would be a little bit low So Most people, if they get six to eight hours, and it's hard. I'm not sure I always get that. So it's okay. But sleep is the time where your body rebuilds and restores. It is not so bad. It will be. ถ้าอลากี่คนนี้นะเอมูนเป็นที่สังเกตเห็นถ้าบอกว่าคุณสลิปแต่ตั้งใจมันก็เตะเลย Right so it's also good to be active though too so you don't want to sleep all the time ไอ้ส่วนนี้นะไอ้พวกพี่เป็นสังเกตเลยนะตัวส่วนนี้ดำหนาของน้องกายสักไอ้แบบนี้นะเอมูนเด็ดจะไปตอนเราแบบแบบเห็นอะครับอนุมาครับอะไรนะจะจะมุนุไหมครับเอ๊ะเดี๋ยวรีเรียเดี๋ยวอะไรFirst of all, we, I would like to say thank you again for coming on behalf of our people. I personally love coffee, and I can't um, seem to do anything without drinking coffee in the morning. Uh, what are the side effects of drinking coffee, and how much coffee can I drink a day? That's a good question. Okay, coffee. Do ma pa coffee kdo la mena si san ke pan zolo ke jam mena bang sai don jam coffee tap don boy yam. So one of the main parts of coffee is caffeine, and a cup of coffee don't say that caffeine that a tam tam zo heat. And a cup of coffee may have 80 milligrams, for example, of caffeine. Milli coffee high had in a milligram so get one. So caffeine that on heat. Typically, one to two cups of coffee a day is a safe. Coffee high had high heat. Yeah, we had in the other cell of heat. I had a person in my office who had four pots of coffee in a day, and I told them that was too much. Caffeine can make your heart feel like it's racing. Or make you make your stomach upset. Like give you stomach upset. But if you feel okay and you have one to two cups a day, it's probably just fine. Uh, you can't have one to two cups a day. Uh, you can't have one to two cups a day. Uh, you can't have one to two cups a day. Uh, you can't have one to two สวงอาจียาสบู่ตัวอาชาวหางอาสวดเจ้าเปียงเทเตบังตันกายเยี่ยมโมบังอินเปียงบังอินเปียงสักจีบเฉยจีนี่อาชาวคนตะวันแดงบังตันกายตัวเล่อิตาบาวัยนักบังจีเล่ว่าอิสุงอาชาวอวาเกนันลุงจังสุงอาชาวอวาเดเป็นบังจีเล่เก่งกินเทดิงเกนันอิซิวิสุงอาโมอิเวนสุงอาอาชาวอากิฮาเทเกนันตัวสกอตของเปียงสักเทตุมตุมเตะอาอมซาอากิลังลังซาอิเวนบังอินเล่ อาเกเรนฮิจิอาบังดิ้งบังเป็นหนึ่งชิคัดเป็ดบังไหลน่ะสิตัวสุนัขเห็นตันตันอภัยบังไอเดตัวเป็นบังอินโกรสักโซดิ
is that. So how long is the process to get to that point, and how can we prevent that? Good, good point. So if you think of uh, our blood vessels as pipes, it it is simply the bed pipe pipe what's up pipe what's up what's up pipe got it up nice and let huh? Cholesterol is like the buildup around the edges. Do a sum lam tau it's bed do a sum a pipe sum a ani na ki bed lam lam to ti ma ni. And especially in the blood vessels in the heart. Ado do i i dong tang sum a is simply the sum a do the walk the edges. Cholesterol can take it and narrow it down. Do a and it can be a long process. Um, but there can it can even start when we're young in our So we can have early signs of that in our teens and twenties, but we may not know about it. Um, and the best way to prevent it is diet and exercise. Again, uh, sorry, again. No, no, yeah, again. Uh, then I can see some of my to be fed, then I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to but if you were to see a doctor and you, you felt well, then if you saw that doctor each year, they would perform blood work. And usually they would check your cholesterol and your kidneys and your blood levels. So that blood test can tell you if you need a medicine as well to help. One more question is the the difference between sleeping during the day and sleeping at night. Mm -hmm. Night sleep and day sleep. That's a good question. If you're getting regular sleep, like if you work at night and you're sleeping regularly through the day, then it's probably just almost as healthy. It's okay. The key is regular sleep. I asked them, how many of you would like to have this kind of seminar regularly? They all said, yes. Do you hear that, Scott? <laughs> okay. Uh, if you want, want a drink, what? Can you take a drink? Yes, 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 ที่ตะกะไอ้นี่เตะลงตัวมากมากขัดเลยไอ้ลุงนี่หมอมาว่าขัดเป็นที่ขอบเขาไปไปเจียงมากลับเราบางเตะอาปาเตะงานตูอม
Evergreen Baptist Church, and his wife Carol is a school teacher. Would you welcome them? Welcome them. And my wife is a Sunday school teacher. But she is a nurse as well. She works with new mothers. And uh, as the police officer said, they are basically, most of them are very good men. And my son is a police officer. <laughs> uh, about two years ago, I was in the uh, Republic of uh, in China. Uh, and I had a very good question asked me uh, concerning people, how they were different from place to place. And I mentioned to them that uh, I have seen in the very in all the different countries I have been in, I've seen some similarities. That no matter where I go, regardless of culture or language or history, there are some things I've seen. One is, no matter where I go, Mothers love their children. <laughs> it's natural. It's God-given. I've also noticed something else. Is the children love to play. You don't have to teach them. It comes very natural. But there's a third thing I've also noticed. No matter where I go, regardless of language, culture, or history, there is a desire within us to love and to be loved. And, and I told the audience then as I'll share with you. I think the reason that is is that we have one creator and perhaps we're not as different as we may think. Now I come from a family of eight children. And my mother only had a second grade education. She came to the United States from Mexico. And she raised six boys and two girls. And I remember her asking me, how did I do that? And I told her, Mom, it's not, it's not as difficult as people try to make it. You see, God, He is very, very smart. And he has helped us. He has told us things about himself. But he has also told us things about ourselves. And I told my mom, Mom, from the very beginning, the Bible tells us that we are sinners. There's little sinners. And there's big sinners. Uh, it's in us. 
No one has to teach us this. And so God, from the very beginning, gave us instruction and help. On how to do this thing called family. In the book of Deuteronomy, in the sixth chapter, yeah. he told this people that he had selected, this people of Israel, he gave them some instruction about family life. And here's a few things he said, and this is basically the, the outline that I will share with you. He said, Hear, O Israel, the Israel. Lord God, the Lord is one. Israel, he chose the Passiat, And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And a little later on, he gives him another instruction. He said, he tells them that concerning his commandments, he said, you shall teach them diligently to your sons and to your children. And then he gives them some very specific instructions on how to teach their children. And then he ends that section in verse 13 by telling them, You shall fear the Lord your God. Now, some people want to delegate that to church. But God says this is about life. See, my father was not a spiritual man. So when I became a father, just like all fathers and all parents, we've never done it before. And we had those same questions. What do we do? So I looked to my heavenly father to teach me how to be a father. And how we should be parents. So I just want to share these just a few points because we can talk about how-to specifics, like do this, don't do that. But more important is the foundation that you build. The first thing he mentions is, he says, hear, hear all the people of Israel. So you need to hear the Lord. What does the Lord say? The Lord needs to be central in your home and your family. Not as religion, but as life. And then he says, you need to love the Lord supremely. Not just on Sunday. Every day. God is not to be a stranger in your house. He is to live in your home just like everyone else. What he says and what he thinks affects you and affects your children. And then he says you need to teach your children diligently. You see, teaching your children is primarily your responsibility. 
it is not primarily the responsibility of the church. It is not primarily the responsibility of the of the school. And it is certainly not the responsibility of the culture. It is your responsibility. And then you need to fear the Lord greatly. He is real. Now fathers, you are very keen to this whole matter of disciplining your children. Where the father is absent, either in presence or in participation, there is trouble coming. Both in your marriage and in your children's lives. It is your responsibility to be the spiritual leader in your home. Now, Wives are very important as well. There are things that she provides in, in the life of your children that, that fathers cannot provide. Both to my life and to the life of the children. Mothers love their children. But that has that, that is not just emotion. But because you love them, then you must discipline them. Now, oftentimes the word discipline, people think of it in terms of sin of punishment. But it has to do with training. You see, your children love you as well. And this is very important. Now I mean they love you. But they actually desire to please you and to now, seek your pleasure. Now they don't always act like that. Because remember, they are sinners. They are selfish. They want their way. They want their way. And they must be taught and trained. But they are not the center of the world. Now, uh, this can sound very serious altogether. But there's something important that, that was very, very central in our home. You see, there's two important things you need to understand that I've had to understand. I need to always take God seriously. But I don't need to take myself so seriously. So in my home, we learn to laugh. To enjoy life. Part of loving each other is learning to laugh with each other. Now, I know this may not answer all of your specific questions, but we'll get to those if you, as you ask them. Uh, but it's, there are two things that you always told the children. Now, one thing again, that Tony that they remember. One is life is not fair. And life does not revolve around you. 
หนึ่งครั้งนะไอ้เลจุงเป็นอันนั้งเด็กอาดิงอมอันนุ่งตาอมยี่เราเห็นจิตตะเกียนเจริญ And I say that because you see a selfish person thinks that it's all about them. And so what they that go on say that they get am I big? Can I say that? They say things like that's not fair. That's not right for me. Yeah, they don't like it. They don't like it. Am I big? They don't want to get to me. But life does not revolve around them. I don't know. Don't know. But am I big? But I'm not big. In fact, the two great commandments. Is to love God and to love my neighbor. It has to do with others. So, within a church, within a child and a person, is already built the selfishness of the sin. And so, you must train your child. To learn to take control of that sinner. To yield it before God, to obey God. And then they can learn how to live in this community called life. Now, I'm free to answer specific questions now, but I just want you to know. My daughter is married to a pastor. And God, the new pen pastor had to be taken. She's a well-adjusted person and loves God and loves others. And as she knows, he did not meet the new idea. My son, I'm very proud of him. Not only as a police officer, but the pen, the angkat di mama, ama, the paling mubeh kalau bina. But as a godly man, ama as she knows, he did not meet the new idea. Then they are both raising children. Ama out the gate. The only thing I would like to say is, Amelio said the other day. That if you train a child to respect you. They will learn to respect God. No one's out to take it. What's the other side of the coin? So I take this respect very, very personally, and I, I'm a Sunday school teacher of three and four year olds, and. Kung tum kung liya pa na o kung tesa na si si ama kaya. I feel like it's very important every every time I teach a lesson. I always present the gospel in a real simple form, but I never fail to say, "Honor your mother and your father." You better obey your parents. Yes. Now, from there, I'm going to talk to my young people. So, what I would like to ask here, your concern is, where do we start this meeting from? Your early on, for example, when I talked the other day about. Parents being in agreement. The problem with these parents or area is the boy will go to the father and say no. He will go to the mother and mother say okay. Then type of some practical steps two or three can be teach us. As parents, you must agree together. To be fair, but no, no, pa. Tate makat makai siya ni. That kito kito kim na nabolo ko ni bangse makai dente. The child cannot come between you. No, no. Le pa kita ba tate do ma chow sa kaya wunti. If one parent says this is the way it is, na no yung pa yung katina hibang ni hi hoi hoi lo yung chis eh. Then this is the way it should be. A katina ng chow ma chis na no le pa pending tang ding kong ding. If you disagree, na kip tu kim kaya wule. You disagree outside of their presence. No le pa na kip tu tuang na om le tate ma le kip tuang na lang lo ding. No le kaya tuang ma kip tuang lo. Never in front of the child. Because the child, the little sinner, will take advantage. It comes natural. Nobody has to teach him this. So you must be in agreement. So again, what I want is the American way of discipline children. I have seen the time out. What do you mean? How do you? 
when the child is very much out of control, how do you control that? I remember one day when my, my daughter was, since she didn't do this often, but one time she was being very willful. And I looked at her. And I looked her right in the eye. And I told her, you, I, you cannot win this. <laughs> you must not allow the child to win the game of will. You are training them. They do not know better. They are only doing what is natural, which naturally, because we are sinners, we are selfish. No one has to teach a child how to be selfish. It comes naturally. So you must not allow a child to be selfish and get his way, her way. Because an attitude of a willful heart, like my wife said, will eventually be a willful attitude towards God. And that is dangerous. See, the, the willfulness inside of us affects our conduct. So you must first deal with the willfulness, and that will get to the conduct. And, and, when, and when a child is, is acting and behaving in a way that is not right, you must let them know and there must be some sort of consequence. Because before God, a willful heart and misconduct does have consequences. Um, I was just going to say that um, with the little ones that I teach in Sunday school, I, if they're like three years old and they hit another child, I'll uh, get them and I'll take them to a chair and sit them down and I'll say, um, you've got to sit there for three minutes. So I try to do uh, just a brief time there, but at the end of that time, I look them right in the eyes and I put my hand on their shoulder and I say, what did you do wrong? And I try to get them to admit what they did. And if they, they say they, if they won't answer me, I make them sit there another one minute. But what I try to do after they admit that they've done wrong is I take them to the person that they hurt and I, and I ask them to say, tell them why you're sorry, tell them that you're sorry, and tell them why you're sorry. Because in Matthew 5, when the uh, Lord was uh, talking about the Beatitudes, it was very important that we mourn our sin, and that we realize that we are uh, in poverty for our sin. And so, even at that young age, I try to start. Again, 
thing that, uh, in keeping with what my wife just said, I know what I've said sounds a little harsh, but it's always done in love. And I didn't have to discipline my harshly my children very often. Because if you do it in little measures, you train them so that the willfulness doesn't hurt them. But as my wife says, if they rebel in their will and their conduct, then we have to confront it. But then, ni malina is in cycle. If we told them sit down, to in Chile, and they said no, to keni ng Chile wala, we make them sit down. Atut matik, follow na tsa kini yan. Because then it was a battle of will. To amalong sim, ham na lung sim kaun na ba? Not merely conduct. Anun taxi? Abi kung alung sim mama isole, anun taxi ang sulit niya. Alung sim is offered for it. But whenever they came to the point where they, like my wife said, said, I'm sorry. I don't know, sorry, we were very quick to embrace them, love them, just as God does to us. You see, God is your best model. The very best father is our father in heaven. If you want to know how to love your children, pay attention on how your Heavenly Father loves you. And the Bible tells us, he who he loves, he disciplines. And sometimes that discipline hurts for a moment. But it pays the dividend of a godly life. And that's what we want for our children. Alright, you want to buy a A bunch of my luck had any. Uh, Amy, like a maybe taking a cow to dinner. See, I'm going to look my room. In to a manager to a Kalina here. James. Sana ko gami sa tulesong sagile na yung katumay sa nalakat ng itong kaya siya ni kaya kung naayo ite sa lima lente siya ay jongin siya ni jongin kung pira ka exactly sa tulesong sagile kadiyan niya may na tulay tak ay mi James High School public public school system ata mo to ate super na amaw itate na kung ito sa mamang kaya sa kina at tulay tak tuntuni na ay kung lom kong siya hi uh, here, uh, East Elementary English Language Development Program CIE. Siya ma kefi robi yung paikay na abat yung panina. Hopi na kapal tong kanay niya mo. Let's welcome to Robi. Thank you for inviting me here today. How many of you have children at James East Elementary? Thank you for sharing your children with us. I started teaching English language learners 10 years ago. And I think I had just a few, maybe one or two, Students from Myanmar, Burma. And now I have about 50. 
And I would like to share with you some of the things that, as a school teacher, I think it's important for you to know about our school system and how you and I can work together to have a very good relationship in, in your child's education. <laughs> Always stay in communication with your school, with your school, and with your children's teacher. And I know that's difficult because you have to speak through a translator. But it's very important that we know your questions, and so we can answer them, and then we can work together for any solutions to a problem that may arise. At school, we have a district translator, Lu Mon. Go here, district Bopa, uh, district level of campaign, man. Can I read? Yeah, man. And her telephone number is the Jinx number, 918. 299-4415. Her extension is 2623. If you will call her, she will put you in contact with your child's teacher. Please know that we are there to work with you. Uh, most of us have been trained as ELL teachers. And not only do you know the difficulties you're facing in being new people in America. But we also know that your child is going through a lot of transition also. And there are a few things that I have noticed as a teacher that you are very important for you to, to know to help us. And one is to keep cur keep your give us your current address, telephone number, and emergency contacts. That would be if your child is sick at school or if there's been an accident. They open sang accident to amo ay kile sang china um china mo chika tomle. Then we can contact you for for you to come pick them up immediately. Ako lab taka na ko sa tayong yung. Also, there are folders that your child will have in their backpack if they're an elementary student. Do a elementary sang a kaate na tle na kaate wina amo. And all the information that we need you to know from our school will be translated, and that those will be in the backpack. Also, another thing I need to stress with you is bus safety. Your child has to sit down and stay seated on the bus. And you need to inform your children of that before the start of the school year, every year. The reason for that is we've had some situations going on right now at the apartments, River Chase and River Park. In Dunayana, River Chase and River Park are Some of the children are crossing the street to catch other buses. That is very, very dangerous. They need to ride the bus 
that is on their side of Wheeling and Utica. Ama ulama apa ibas atuan tuan yang utupi ini. Ulama lapikan kan kulo. Ama ulama onkol pas yang matu asapun. Especially the little bitty ones because the drivers, the bus drivers will not see them and if they're trying to run across the street, they can be run over by the school bus. Also, at home at night, if your child has homework and they do not understand contact the school and the teachers will be able to work with them like the yellow teacher will be glad to help them with homework they do not understand. If you have any questions, contact the school about school hours, about field trips. And one other thing I want to mention, and this is in, about snacks, about food they bring to school. The young man that was a physician that talked to you a moment ago, and he mentioned the, the drinks, the monster drinks, the Red Bull drinks. Children should never, ever bring those to school. Little children, those are very dangerous. They can cause your child to pass out. Also, when they bring food, they need to bring nutritious food like fruit and vegetables and crackers for snacks. No chips. We all love our chips. We all love our candy. If you can tell, but they do not bring them to school. I just want to say thank you for sharing your children with us. Your children are very, very good learners. They're very happy students. And they're very respectful. If we call home about any kind of discipline problem, we're not calling you for you to hit your child. Just talk to them and explain them what, why the teacher called. And you as, as parents can work with us as teachers because your student will be learning good, firm boundaries at school. And that will make them good learners from now on. Thank you very much for inviting me. อีเมเตนเนี่ยตัวตัวอย่างตั้งปีมาไม่เอ้ยเลยถ้าเกิดเป็นนี่มั้งเลยเลยเป็นยังไงเลยอามาตั้งที่เกี่ยวเตียงเ
ที่อัลลาเปลี่ยนใส่จีของจะสัมเมจีของเป็นเสียมจีตะกาเสียมนี่ตะกาดอลลาร์สองนี่สองทุนเปียไอเมียสักสังอาอมาหัวจะทำออสตินักุมตั้มปีไอเมียเต็งจะมาบอกแกมาจวนเสียเสียเวนะเฮียตัวสามตรงใต้นู่นไว้อำเภออมนาตัวอินทักตาลูตัวอินะอพาร์ตเมนต์บางไอ้ตาฟรีมาเชยเชนะอาพาร์ตเมนต์นั่นมันมาเสียตาวันปีกว่าวันปีวันปีวันปีวันปีวันปีวันปีบ่เนี่ยตัวอาพาร์ตเมนต์นะอำเภอสุนัขสัมสัมเมียนกันยิ่งขาดขาดได้เงียบทีนะกว่าตะกับกำเพ็ญกุลโลกูพี่เต้มันสังนับโบสังนับโบเลยภาษาสัมเนตของเสียมนู่พี่สัมเนตนู่งักสัมโบของเสียมมันไม่เห็นนะนู่หวยแต่ก่อนแต่คนละอามาบะชาลาพิอาวุธีอามาเป็นนู่งักขี้เล่านู่พี่นักเกียร์ภาษาเราคงดีนะภาษาเราต้องใจเกลี้ยเลยเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยอาบ้านสมดีเป็นคุณนุ่งโอเคแค่นั้นเยอะแยะไปสตาร์ทแค่นั้นเยอะแยะโอเคสมอ่าลองนั่งเตะยะมันสัมผัสเดียวยะก่อนจะกลับไปเจอเกอรี่แอนด์เฟรนด์เวอร์อาร์ยูอยากพูดเองเอ้ come on in come on in this is your turn yes ดูนะอเมริกาเตะอินสามะลองฟังมองซะได้ไหมกวายสามเดือนอาบ้านจะกับคัมปานีในขัดีนะเซ็ตจุงดงปีในหินนุ่งมาไทยนะกอลกำไปปีแหละเต้นหนุ่งไปปีไกลเลยเต้นหนุ่งก็ไปปีเลยเต้นมาก็เป่าสอดเป่าเต้อีจะโตปีดอกจามเบียร์ที่โตอ่ะเมย์เต้บังเราไม่จ้างเฮ้ปีไวสุดว่ะเอานะทางวันละละหุ่ยตั้มละมาไม่จ้างอ่ะเต้นมาหุ่ยช้าตกขบุกอ่าบังเราเลสิจานะ每个城市里，咱们就录音，就录音往外卖。现在公司啊，这样的呢，阿罗马古奥德，啊，好比乖乖呢，都那会唱的，啥歌还是会唱的，我们老都会唱到。但是可不吧，没有去别处听，俺就往天听啊，就是听那一类。现在可能帮忙能看这样来，跟人阿姨说呢，刚把你从那里接走呢，那，但是不必呢，每个在搞啥天天的呢，快好那会录音啊，没事呢。เอ็นนุ่งก็เชียร์นะเสร็จขนมปังสักกินอ่ะตุ้นสักคนละมาเสร็จส่วนตัวจานตะกี้เปย์เวลมาเล่นตัวส่วนตัวจานตกมินัดสิ้นสักการสิบว่าหุ่ยท้าเตะนะตัวหุ่ยเป็นกุยละปนงนุ่งยามสิ่งเตะลายกุบขัดชุกเตะดีนะตัวเตะดีมุขสุนัขตัวหุ่ยท้าตัวเมย์นุ่งตะกาขจานเป็นเรื่องจีบังอินุขยาตาเล่ตัวตัวอันมันไอ้ที่เด็กมาหันเจียบีนัวมองไปมาไปฮีจี哎，那个好白，不怕说不怕，对，刚刚是都白那个红黑皮罗。That that that clinic that you saw is our best clinic, and you have just pity on them. I'm I'm in bed, Gary Shorten in a key ministry board and advisory council member at the Lahi in a. We are talking about it. We are talking about it. We are talking about Asa Simba Christian Day. Gam Som Liba Lap Gos Mala Pai Piden. Pas yang ini mama. อินาตูเจ้าเจ้าอามาลาเซมนาบนอามาทำปนีปนีนะข้าขตาอาสวะตุฟันจวกเป็นดอลลาร์ตันขัดปะปงมาลาสวะปุ่ยนะภาษาอินาเปียกทางอามาเกอริชอตเฮียดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่าดีกว่า He's a policeman, and he says, "Don't speed, don't go fast." No, I don't think it's on TV. I'm thinking I better slow down. Okay, now I'm going to go to the other side. The number two speaker. Do not forget me now. A real skinny doctor that talks about exercise and diet. I don't see our partner exercise our own life. I maybe should have done it. Never don't get on one thing. Never get on one thing. Um, I have been honored to be in Myanmar. I have driven the road from uh, Kleinyong to uh, Dinium. 
And I've been on the road to Mandalay. Mandalay, Mandalay. Ten hours. So I love your country. I had a good time in your country. We 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 traveled that road, so they all they all know what it is. Oh, I had a good time in your country. Well, I I knew as a young boy, as a young man, that God had called me to be in business. To be an entrepreneur. And then I became a Christian, and I said I'm to be a Christian entrepreneur. And And I go to countries like Myanmar in Thailand. In China in October. I'll be in Ecuador in November. Dominican Republic in March. In March, Republic of I want to see the body of Christ be a complete body of Christ. Not wishing they had more money, we have no money, and making money being the God that makes the decision. I believe that God will prosper us if we'll learn how to use His wisdom. He'll prosper us with the work of our our hands and our minds. So that's the purpose of those trips. Today, I've been asked to talk about uh, business ethics. Now there's, there's much bigger companies than my company. There's Aon, that's a big company. But as a sole proprietor, as an owner of a company, I had a trucking company, a moving company. And we hired lots of labor people, people helping us, moving furniture, chairs, uh, from home to home. In fact, uh, over most of the years that I owned that company, we had 50 to 75 employees. And of course, some employees only worked us a short while, some for a longer time. So over a period of many years, I had as many as 800 different people working for us over a period of years. Currently, I own a machine shop. It makes metal parts. These are samples of small parts we make. We have machines uh, that are very skilled machines with mach skilled machinists. So these, 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 these are the small parts. Parts just like this that are very big. And we currently have about 65 employees. So I've been asked to share to, with you some of the things I would look for uh, to be part of the American workforce. American company and the same we're glad you've come to this country. We're a country, a melting pot of many nationalities and many people. But as you come to the country, you'll have to figure out how to make income. Is that correct? So I hope to share just a few things to help you uh, in making that job or getting a better job. Ethics in business. Ethics in the workplace. So first I'm just going to talk about being ethical as an employee, as a worker. 
Ni kambe ni na ina isetia ni na set zia set dani ngendoni. This morning we had uh, 17 workers working on Saturday uh, at my company. We, we had no supervisor for most of that time. No boss. No person saying, I'm watching you, making sure you're doing your job. Because we hire people that will take responsibility to do their job. These are just the basics. I'm, I have a job. I have a company. I have bills that come in because of the things we buy and the payroll we make. So I have to have income to pay those bills. In a very simplest form, our workers must make these parts correct. So I, I need people that are working for me, and I know Aeon is the same, <laughs> that's responsible. That will take, take responsibility. The first responsibility to learn. I, I can't just teach every little thing to someone that's not willing to learn. So if I was able to line up four people and say, which of these four would be my best employer, employee? I say, which one of these should I hire? I look for someone that's been a learner. We work at creating what we call a learning environment. We have people that train and teach. But, but unless the person really wants to learn, I can't teach them. So sometimes we hire someone and they're just they're just doing going through the motions, just going through the motions. But they're not a learner. I would rather they work someplace else. These are basics. I want someone that uh, reports to work on time. You would be surprised how certain people have many problems, money problems, family problems, children problems. And we're very tolerant, and we're understanding, and we're sympathetic. But I have a customer that needs this part on time. I'm graded. If I'm not on time, I get an actual scorecard that says you were late on this part. So I'm being graded, and if a worker isn't there when we need them, we're going to be late. I think some employees, and I'm not talking to you, I know you're all good workers. I, I really <laughs> think good. And, and and our workers are good workers. But last week I was walking by one of the machines. And I noticed the man had a, like an iPad there. And he was uh, doing something on his computer. I said, how's it going? Oh, it's going great. I, was, I say, how's the, how's the park going? 
Oh, it's going great. He thought I was just going to walk on by. You know? I said, well, let me take a look. And his machine was stopped. I said, then the walk in. See, there's, there was no reason for him, for his machine to be stopped. Yeah. He, he could actually have time to do his thing on the computer only when the machine is running. I, I make notes. No, I didn't say you're fired. No. I say, listen, I'm paying for work. I'm a Christian. I'm not soft. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not cruel. I'm not hard. But sometimes I think people have an idea, oh, you're a Christian. So, oh, that's okay. I'll forget. Yeah, I need the part on time. I So, we watch for people how they work. What their, what, their work, what their work history has been. See, actually, the man that was playing the game on his computer, he, he, he didn't think of it this way, but I thought of it this way. He, he actually was stealing from me. Stealing. Stealing. Oh, stealing. Because he took my money for pay when he was doing his computer. Okay. Now I want to shift for the rest for a little bit. I don't know how much time. Was the, I want to talk to those that in a group like this, there could be a percentage that have a desire to be the business owner. And many times people say, oh, I could never do that. And I say, why not? It, it's up here in your mind. Now, I do believe there's a calling of God for different parts of the body of Christ. I believe there's a calling to be a pastor. I think there's a calling to be a children's worker. Certainly there's a calling to be a singer or musician like Jindo. I think there's a calling for administration. That's someone that's good at getting things done. I think there's a calling for those that should own their own business. So when I go to a foreign country like Myanmar or Thailand, I'm not there going saying, I'm going to start a big company. How many people, how many people can I employ because I have been working for my company? No. I'm going to say, let me help you start your business. Hey, let me help you start your business. Let me help you start your business. If you're called to do that, let me go help you. It's like training. It's like understanding how to own your own business. So that you can employ these two men. And that you can employ those two ladies. So let me give you just one little tip in that area. In my life, I have tried to become a problem solver. Now this is good, good to be, if you want to become a manager in, your, in a company, you can just be an employee, but you want to become a manager. You want to 
have people report to you as the manager. Simple in my company. Become the problem solver. Any problem you can think of, most people say, oh, there's a problem over here in the office. Let me get away from them. What? And then what I'd say, there's a problem there. I'll, I'll come up with a way to fix that problem. Little bitty problems. Whatever the problem is, become the problem solver. You go into the bathroom. The bathroom is dirty in your place. The bathroom's dirty in your place of business. Go to the boss and say, I got an idea. I know how we can keep those bathrooms clean. And come up with a solution for the problem. I, I believe that's what God will help you. I'm going to go through all the examples in Joseph's life, all the Old Testament, but almost every time there was a big problem. And the Bible person said, God, help me solve this problem. Show me and God would show him how to solve that problem. And we got the same God today. You a problem solver. That's the simplest form of starting a business. Somewhere in your center of awareness, you see a problem. And you figure out how to solve that problem. And normally it involves creating some kind of a system. How can I get the bathrooms clean every week? Every week. Every week. How do I get the system? How do I get the system? I get a system going so that you don't have to worry about that. And we get the system going. That's normally how solved problems are solved. I will entertain right. questions or All right, the Pakamiya. Okay. Yeah. The no Pakamiya why? It got a sense here. You got the narration. All right. I want to ask for one thing I didn't mention to you. Yes. Yeah. I would offer to you that if you would gather a group of uh Burmese of people and from Myanmar people that are interested in starting their own business, I, I will meet with you. Understand? Okay. Talk to him. I'll meet you. Okay. Uh, โมปอยไปลงทําออเตอร์ลงตั้งเสียมันนะตัวเราเตรียมส่วนนี้เนาะทีนี้เอกเสียงเงี้ยนี่นะอ่าถ้าเกิดว่าตัวนี้สมมุ
ที่มาเอาเงินบ้างเอาเงินลำดับสายทุกปีสายทันนะนี่นะเดี๋ยวไว้ผมตกใจจนตกคำมาเถอะทุกปีนี้สาวเยอะไปทุกปีมาเถอ
ingin na huruti bel ti tenga apen ta a pai hi a ala la pai hi a ti na song ge pai hi song in ai ke le si po song ge ko sum ta lo de pai song in ti tenga tam pi ong ka ta te ingin na kha dai ni sima inun ta nga iran ke ne ni i sawal na le nga sum la pai zon lo pa mo de ta na zon lo pa mo tu a la i ta kin kha le to mi te tu a ba nga om sum sum ta ki pol kho me na ai ambadari ahilo mp sap i copy to it i ga min le ya ni min anu hi mo ni dai cha to asem form ding in right ke pola ka put ve ni ki ti in asem form ding in a do min kon ke pola ke pot hi ti to ni na ye no mi ken ba ham ban na ka nga tam ti to hi lo bi ken to ke pola ka put man in ma ka in pang ina hi song ina ka ki hala le ku sum ka ke le pang za wa ding me am ti hi lo bi to ka ke pol man ina bang ka sem form che tam ti hi zo hi khana e kwai tu ya ni ai ke asang zo e kwal swan zo le i ga mi le i me na ma ri ngong so ti hi to le to i i ko sa ti a ki bang lo ka e ki pang ni malaysia a ti um lai hi ta ka tam zo ben do a malaysia pan ni ngi nong la me ni malaysia yom lai a ben bang a i ko sa ti a ki bang lo nge le le ko lam to la ti bang lo yes to la ki bang lo atu wan bi khadi ingin na bul pilian be ini siman nun tanding sanga gam thum na itun ding ni bo ke bo to gam thum na itun te ne dia gam pi ke dong ni sima antanga chungen te dong ngen tuwa muna a le itung system le itung pai dia dan zuya a gam thum na tun te ne ding lam pi ben zue ni na community e dong ke po lai o mi tak te ke gam chum na ka tun thaina ding in bang lambi tom na wai ding yam chet paw khadin wai zo min kwan put ve ni e to to pole hoi ni paw khadin se ne em put ve ni e to to pole hoi ni paw khadin si e si put ve ni paw khadin e si a put ve ni e chi gam thum na i tun thaina ding in lambi kong wang ni le nga om la ka to ki paw na tengi angim na pen gam chum na tun thaina ding ai ma ni to ham pha na ikit tu tak chang khan le kha ikit tu long ki paw na ikit tu na ra ikit to tun ong ong ta Malaysia i ko sa ti a pe ke po na kha ta ze re yang an om nai le to min kon pe na ga la hi lo pa mo e si a la om nai le si e si si pa nga pe na ga la hi lo pa mo a ni u s ga ma to om non lo ta kan tri so om non lo pe tu ni a i ke ko sa ti a pe Malaysia to ki bang non lo pe sang ga mu na lai zo ta mi nam ka ko ka te ka ti ma ni ki po na kha su ma i mi nam lo pe a i so ko te ni ni so min kon ke pawa ke pawa hi ti to a abul pi thum ten ko ge no ming en tu le la ta ke ti ka pha so min kon ke pawa la so thum le ku ko min to ta ka ki ko ko ta so min kon yu es e ti la ke to a mo na to la ta president pa nu ka le la ta hi na en to ta mi ta e na zan de ke nu ke te o ke ke nu kum kha tu ni se la ning in ini se se ma ba ngin ti es ka pe kho sa ti a ki bang lo ka ti ma ba ngin a suwa ta na ka mai min isuwa ta na te zang di mi pi thu nei na ki man nai man in mu pi mi pi dei na ta ki kao suwa ni mi pi dei lo pi kha pe na ki sem lo pi to hi man in tech company da ni nei so ngin pol pi da ni nei so ngin ma ka kha ka hi na to to hi ye ti a na to ken ba ma thu so thei lo pi to hi man in to a hi ki pol na ki ma kom ki pol na to to te i ta ni te thu ken san na to na ki ken san a so lo pi na bang bang song ni te i lu hi mo to to ma hi ken vai ma to ni jue lei tang to ma si na man na ka to ka le am kuan luang pham ni ngi am che tam pi ta ken lu hi mo a bil bel ne ko ni pol sa a bel pol pi ha wei cha ngi na ki lu hi mo ke yin a mun to to ma ki lu hi mo ma ni ni ken vai to ke sai zo min kuan yu ai se yin bang ti pan mun la ni ngi am che tu ni le jing cha ma man lo thu ken san a ki nei ding a ong ki tang ko ke nei ni to ha vai to pi ka ki nei hi ma ai kum cha ngi na zong ni kum Niko ma ini ta ma to zo mi khom pi pe a ki bai hom zo tam ti to ki ge na ki ne yin tu sa ma lo na ki la men ong ki pai ho mai man ko zo a ko ma pe win take ko le na in take zo ni ni yam ti ki gen ding to lu bu na ne ya to ki cha ge na de ni na ya i company ni an ki kha ni na bo sa ni na ge na ya te ni ma ka ba pa yin na a na hui te na na hui nun da na ka ba te a ti ma ba ngin in te dim zo gam khan to na ding ni na ei kam na ka tum kho sak sia alam dan namun atum khin te na bang na som pa ki thei ding ya ma to ken bang ham ma na nga ding ka yam chi ding na lo e kho sak na malaysia do ken bang ham ma na nga ding ka yam kol ga ma be ken bang ham ma na nga ding ke hit te nga din no lo ken bang se thei ding ka yam chi e kho sak sia ma ma like ta ding ya 
ตอนเปียนี่นะอีขันตุงนามาฮะกิลังไทยดิอัพทูปีมาฮะดิเอฟเอ็มเรดิโอสเตชันฮะตรงลําซอมนี่จีนะไอ้ตุงตุงตรง
Tonton Piakte Tung Ton ini nak kumpi nang per training Piakte ni mau perakat qualify lagi hari ini. And don't forget. Once you put that money into the plan, it's always yours. It's protected from the company's creditors, and it's protected from your creditors. Inside most 401k plans, you can either take a hardship withdrawal or you can borrow from yourself through the loan access. In your pension, you can call the loan to 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 the loan your money is always your money, but then that employer money becomes your money. Then tamlo ina nang na pen sending a na ko na ko na pia subject tamlo ina nang ong na sa bong pia na company pa siya tendo na na pen sending ong ko ong ko sa pela ay hindi man hampan na nang nakibela ni. So the really great things about the 401k are one, it's always your money. Instead of going into your pocket to be taxed and spent, it goes into an account for you in the 401k. Secondly, the employer might match that money and give you money inside that plan. Third, you might be eligible for the government match, the saver's credit. So, you put in a dollar, the employer might put in a dollar, and Uncle Sam might give you a dollar. Inside of the 401k plan, you have the option to participate in the U.S. stock market and invest your money inside U.S. or foreign stocks. Inside all 401k plans, you can invest in three different types of categories. Money market funds, bond funds, and stock funds. The great part about investing your money is the power of compounding. So as you put your dollar in, the employer puts his money in and the government puts his money in, your money can start making money for you. In Ahoy na, the Takinang Alejan compound interest, you know, compound making. But you know, atua pa kibay lang to. Nang pensin ding pen, nang pensin ding na dola ka kwe. Nang kampanye ding dola ka nung piyang pe. Kunpin dola ka nung piyang pe. Kwa nang amen ding pen, asyay nung suwaki kina. Kung amen ding, asyay ding kwa ma amen ding kong to la ahiman na. Men na nang tumomi. So your dollar can make Dollar and a dollar and a dollar and a dollar and When you compound and have a long time, 10, 20, or 30 years, 
you can amass a large amount of money for your retirement. Another benefit of the 401k is all of those earnings, all those dollars making dollars are tax deferred. You do not pay taxes on them while the money is inside the plan. So take advantage of your 401k plans at work, save money for yourself, save taxes, definitely get that employer money, and get Uncle Sam's money. And for those of you who work at Aon, just so you're aware, as of October 1st, our 401k plan is having some changes. We are doubling the amount of automatic contribution to be 3% of everybody's income will automatically be put into your retirement plan. We are also going to raise the potential match, <coughs> excuse me, double the percentage, but it's raising the opportunity by a third because you now save only 6% and we will save 6% for you as well, down from 4.5% at 9%. It's done. As of October 1st, you save 6% of your income, the company will be putting away a total of 9%. That includes the 6% of your income. 9. 6 plus 9. If they save 6, we add 9. Tua, tua naka sum sum pari na sa duk mo. Chao ya kai lumo. 6%. Na kola le, amao 3% ong bela sa kai aki goma 9% na kho suwa kai lumo. So you would be saving a total of 15% of your income just by saving 6% yourselves. Well, we contribute the 9, they contribute the 6. It totals up to 15. No, no, กูคิดเลยอามาวุธอะลูลูอาบานะตัวซ้ําของเบลัสสักเลยมองกูมาโนโคเป็นกูอามาวุธของเบลัสสักตัวเจ้าอะอะลูลูอาเมทุ่มต
Less than 5,000, you will get pushed out of our plane. <laughs> if you have more than 5,000, it's your choice whether you leave the plan. We cannot push you out, and the government requires us to allow you the decision of to stay in the plan or take the money out. <laughs> If you have worked for the company, a total of, it says six years, it's functionally about five and a half, when you leave, then all the money that the company is putting is yours. Company has a set na kung lile lang pan kung na bang sorry, was it six years? Six years. Na kung kung na set kina kalle tuwa lang i koy teng pa kilo na company ha on koy sa teng so kape pinan ng ahi. So doesn't mean that if he leaves before five year, six years is completed, the what the money you put in for him also will remain. If he leaves with less than the six years, it depends upon how long he's been there. As of January 1st, the 3% that we contribute is going to vest over two years. That's two years of employment. So if they work for us two years as of January 1st, anything we put in on the 3% will be fully vested. <laughs> As for the part that we put in that matches your contribution, so if you are saving 6% and we put an additional 6%, that vests each year between two years of employment and the six years of employment, 20% per year. 20% of the 6% that the company puts in would be yours. Oh, okay. So, for example, at year two, if you left, you would only get 1.2% of that. Now, what the company said, not so same, same, le, ama, um, um, be, la, sa, ting, na, nga, ding, percent, ting, tam, same, same. Same, pa, na, as, all, na, pa, yung, pasuwa, le, to, ama, um, be, la, sa, so, pa, na, nga, ding, percent, ting, 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 to be aware 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 to be to be aware 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 but you can come apply for a job. <laughs> <laughs> Another more important question though, that's related to that is if you work at one company that offers a 401k, you can oftentimes transfer your balance to your new employer, such as Aon. If you work at a company that offers a 401k, you leave that company and come to Aon, you can move your contract your savings into our plan and continue building it within our plan so you don't have to have multiple accounts. So I'm not saying to be company not held to our table. When company not had a saving and not pay at home, in company not had a not pay late, to another whole lot of pay for one game, maybe eight years ago, to another set of time the company up. Be out there, transfer it. Thank you. 
啊，咱遐咧歪断出边，咱遐，两两两两栋啊。佛缘给念到，我路边的那，呃，西那多念，阿妈听我讲，先跟，保存起来。We say, we say we we invest in a 401k, but something happened and I die. Will someone get my 401k saving? If you pass away, our plan is structured so you go online or you can call the Bank of Oklahoma and establish your beneficiary information there. If you don't have a beneficiary established within our plan, it will become a part of your estate and be distributed, say, to your parents, your children, your spouse, whoever your surviving family is. So the process will be the first priority? Or? No, it's spouse first. Okay. In Oklahoma, it's spouse first. In Oklahoma, it's spouse first. Nak kau isap le tuan ngali, tu ahi ikhiri le. Nang azi, ahi na iya nasi le, nang pasal ini ngali. Apa salah iya nang nasi le nasi ini ngali? Tu ada kos hati nang apa nak hendak? Lu pasal apa? Let's say there's no spouse. It can be parents, children, or it can be an entity like a charity or a church. Apa? Azi apa salah iya kalau ini? Apa orang tuan piten zong ngati mo? Ahi ikhiri le pol piten zong cipa ngati. Even though the designated beneficiary is not, they say if he failed to designate anybody for the beneficiary, it goes to his his estate. And in the state of Oklahoma, the estate's going to start looking for. They'll either look down first for children, then they go up for parents, then they go sideways for siblings. Oh, do I get my cutie? Cutie. ภาษาไทยตัวเรื่องนั้นไงบ่เกิดเจ้าหน้าหนังสิคาเลจินอาหารพันธุ์หนังหนิงเป็นความหมายเป็นเท่าไหร่ตัวเป็นตัวสุน
Ya, saya nggak pernah. Eh, tapi saya juga. Don Dani. Zile Dani, jadi sanggam Pau Naofong yang tak tahu dia di nak kira ni. Dan dia say I fail to put any name, any beneficiary name, and I am not married. If something happened to me, I die. Pull my cousin the entitled to get. They're going to look for closer, but yes, I mean if he if they go through the line, children, parents, siblings. Then a cousin could get it after that. I said, "I'm not going to get it. I'm 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 not going to get it. Or he could put me. Or he could put me. I don't want to get a smile. 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 Kampani sebenar pun dia orang ini le korban le, jumpa kampani na ayam kampani dua dua pan korban. Kampani I work for doesn't have four one k system. Can I invest somewhere else? Yes, IRA. IRA ya, korban. He can call Bank of Oklahoma and they can help him. Apa sebenar? Bank 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 of Oklahoma, orang samlau jadi pun dia. Jadi le kumpi kumpi mana? Apa orang bela tengah kibak ayam mau ada nanti tu. So will they the the added amount from the government will be included? Yes, he can still qualify for that. Eh, tu apa? Ibe kibak ayam ni aku pelan 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 mau. A company pun orang bela ni aku lubang dingin aku pelan 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 aku pelan pelan ini. Amen. Thank you very much. Ada orang nak buat? Ia tak ada orang tanya tu orang cik. Eh, eh, lapan lapan orang macam. Wah, ayah le. IRA. Can you explain a bit more about the IRA? IRA stands for Individual Retirement Account. It's similar. IRA pen, mima a pen sin kong na account. It's similar to the 401k. 401k pen sin toki pang dek dek. But there is no employer that is with it, so there's no employer match. All the money in that plan will come from you. Nampak tu anak nasib nak nelayan, nak company kan dia nampak tu apa? Nampak dengan anak kau tu apa? Company pun ada orang bela, orang dia di tempat orang tu bela dengan anak tempat kita orang ini. You can still get the tax deduction and you can still qualify for the savers credit or the government match. Tu nak company yang same lo, nak hilang company yang same nak hilang mah? Tu aku pi pal nak tu bela dengan anak kau zat zat tak bela tax dia aku tu anak lo. Company tu company ni nasib tak ada hilang mah? แต่เช่นนี้ให้ลาลาเลยตัวเป็นเช่นนั้นคนตามเป็นจุดเป็นจุดเช่นนั้นแล้วก็มาเราเรื่องอะไรครับเอ่อเอ็มก็เริ่ม
So as far as family reunification, if you would like to bring your parents, your wife, or spouse, and children, there are two programs that you could qualify for. In Kwan Pita Refugee Tena, in Kwan Pita Samnapule, Nazi, Napasalani, Gotan Natari, Gotanina, and the Sangam Tari, Namphoni. There's the I-730 and the AOR, um, and those require that you're in the United States less than five years when you do your application. And the relative you're filing for must reside outside of Burma. I don't know what they are refugee or non-refugee. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They just need to meet refugee status. So if they are suffering some type of persecution and they flee to Malaysia or India, they would they would meet that definition of a refugee. Even without receiving any recognition from the Indonesia. Correct. Okay, to a in kwan pi samuang te na na nu na pa ay isong in na tate ay isong ina na sam na pule ko ang kamay ilo ka ng katang pula ay do taka kay kalun tang na pag siya lung chong lo lao ay ay hima din si ay isong siwen ka na kip tek tek kung tuang lo. It doesn't matter whether they've registered with UNHCR or if they haven't. Do pa ng Indonesia la ka na kip ka na lo kip kisay lo. They would still qualify for those programs. The only does matter is if they have registered with UNHCR and they've started their interview process. If they have started that interview process, they'll have to come as a regular refugee and complete that process. They can't be in two programs at once. Okay, so 
nang nanu na pa na tate samno amina ai zo na amau pen juen ka tsi bang ala ilo ahile malaysia mo india mo kata pai sakti ina ilo ra juen ka na ken sa ahile to ama den pen ki sia be thelo ki to thelo if they have the card but haven't done the interview they can still qualify for the two programs now if you have your citizenship you qualify for a different program which is the i-130 under that program, you can qualify to bring any of your relatives over. Any. Extended family, cousins, aunts, uncles, mother, brother. Now, if you are qualified for the I-130 and you want to bring your siblings over, please understand that it's a very lengthy process. The federal government is currently processing applications that were filed in 2001. So there is a 12 year waiting period. Now, if, if it's a spouse or your parents that you're you're uh, filing for under that program, they can come within probably the first uh, year to two years. But the extended family, there is that 12-year wait. <laughs> So if you have a sibling that you really want to come to the United States, I would recommend that they try to register with UNHCR in Malaysia or India and come as a refugee because it will be a lot quicker. Do I mean that then sibling, right? Sibling. The son as people of age already, right? Now, if you're wanting to bring your parents and they're still in Burma, you're going to have to wait until you get your citizenship. So, I don't know. India, Pailo, Malaysia, Pailo, and Gogama online, and you're going to have to wait until you get your citizenship. So, I don't know. The only way you can bring your parents that are still residing in Burma is to have your citizenship and fill out the I-130 and they'll be processed and it can take about a year or two to get them here. 
So there are three different programs and each program has its own requirement and I recognize that every one of you is going to have a different situation which it would be impossible for me today to answer every single situation. So it's best that you sign up on the sign up sheet and we'll contact you and review your information personally. A program nam to Lorena. No khat le khat na 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 tu atu na ribu ti bang Lorena ai manena. Tu ni na ve pia na nu hi mo ao ka na ve pia ngian te Lorena ai manena. A tu pi pen pen na no apoi na ngladi ngena. A mi bala manena a ki kum le na pa ni na ngi ngian mun. Chu zui na pa ti bai hom ni ti. La mo ke la te pa ni ngi ti. And I'd also like to talk to you a little bit about apartment living. Tracy from River Park couldn't make it today, so she um, gave me a little bit of information that she'd like me to touch upon. Uh, River Park apartment uh, manager, no, Tracy, don't cast up here. Don't pay the fee. 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 Don't for living in an apartment complex. Apartment manager, no one can do that. Apartment a own day in Nate Tawan to decide what happened again to a meeting. The first issue she said she's having the biggest problem with is bugs. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to be pen, pen, but I don't know that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Specifically, cockroaches and bed bugs. If you see cockroaches in your apartment, that's not normal. I've been in several of the apartments at River Park and I see the bugs crawling. And the families just sitting there with the bugs on the wall. <laughs> the bugs will get worse if you don't tell someone. Even if you see one bug, that means there's more in the walls and they come out at night and because you're living in an apartment complex, the bugs can move from one one apartment to the next. So it's important that you report when you see bugs. Report by Tracy's been having issues with tenants moving out because the bugs at River Park are getting out of control. And she's gonna have to start charging people if they're not reporting that they have a bug problem. Um, she's had a lot of infestation where she can't rent out apartments because the bugs are so bad in apartments when people move out that she has to treat them for one or two months just to get the bugs to go away. Now Tracy doesn't own River Park, but she's managing it for the person that does own it. So when the owner comes out and they're seeing these problems, uh, it's creating problems for Tracy and it's creating problems for future tenants. River Park and Tracy go by a boy yellow and a man yellow. I don't go ahead to see my can't worry more game thing on Tracy. I think what are people? It's 
It only take five minutes out of your day to go to the office and either signal that you have bugs with your fingers or try to tell her in some way that you have bugs in your apartment and it needs to be sprayed. In Parinazo, ma, paya na ngayon na report ng pandemic ng azong solo dingi. Nangyay take care sa mga limto na kila himang himang kaya ng beach lens kina. Ama ang pay dingi na ang pera ng patients at dingi. So she really wants me to ask you, please, 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 if you see bugs crawling on your walls, don't ignore it. Please come tell her so the exterminator can come out and spread. Na insuha kaning na mo pepeule, hunga kila na mo di pati na. The second thing, the, the Burmese gardens. They're, they're getting a little large. <laughs> Typically, gardens are for those people who own their own home and they can make the garden whatever size they want. But for apartment living, gardens aren't typical and she's trying to work with you. But please do not dig up the grass to make your gardens bigger. The owner of the apartment complex was there last week and was quite upset with the size of the gardens he was seeing. If you have a patio and you want to make a garden, make it to the edge of the concrete patio, but don't exceed that or start wrapping around the side of the building. And then the last thing was um, keeping an eye on your children. Um, Specifically with them playing in the flower beds at the front of the complex where they're waiting for the bus. And there's a rock. The rock wall there where they wait. Um, every morning she has to tell people to get their children down. Um, please don't have your children crawling up the rock wall. Um, they can fall and break their arm. Uh, any questions? Most of Catholic Charities runs without any assistance from the federal government. It's all through donations. Catholic Charity 
The refugee department is the only department on campus that receives federal funding. I'm not here to get to be a good people now. I'm going to refugee service department. We can get to the other people. So because of the demand to come to Tulsa, we have reached that $500,000 limit for the year. So, um, and so our Board of Governors and Executive Director have closed the resettlement program for the rest of 2013. So all of the cases that are due to arrive from now until the end of December are going to be transferred to the Dallas area. And we recognize that this is a problem and I recently presented our problem to the Board of Governors and they're going to review it in December. But until December, we won't be getting any more cases. The Board of Governors put in the Catholic Charity? It's, yeah, it's a, it's a Not the Board of Governors for Catholic Charity. Okay. Amal, Amal, Board of Governors for Catholic Charity, they're Board of Governors. This is a limit that they've had for 20 plus years and only recently has the demand to come to Tulsa been so great that we've had we've been at our limit the last two years. So we're working to do away with that limit, but it won't be resolved probably until December. And the reason it's going to take some time is because if we exceed that $500,000 limit, there is going to be implications with the type of audits and things that happen at Catholic Charities, and that involves the government. So it can't be changed immediately. It's going to take a little bit of time. So in the meantime, those of you who have relatives that are set to arrive this year, they're going to be sent to Dallas, unfortunately, um, and you're going to have to make arrangements to go to Dallas and get them. They'll still be eligible for RCA, but we can't receive them through the reception and placement program. Will the benefit be less or less or they'll, um, they'll get their R&P money or their welcome money through the Dallas office and they'll distribute that to the client in full. They'll just be losing their case management piece when they get here. So they won't the case. the case management. Okay, they will be under here. Right. เจ้าเป็นนะอ่ะอ่ะอ่ะกี่ลําตั้งอ่ะอ่ะสุดแล้วไปไปนะครับพันเรากี่ลําตั้งเลยนี่วัตถุกรรมเราอ่ะเจ
state doesn't have to release our office, but if they will, they, they will stay in any part of India and apply, I apply, would it be a problem? Yeah, who is he wanting to apply? Who is he referring to? And that, that's Ileta, his wife and children. Yes. It's him. Then they have, they talk to him, I saw him today, let me not hear that, for another cell phone noise on it. I The AOR program is designed to provide another avenue for your relatives to get to the United States. Because the UNHCR is not always open and taking new applicants, this provides another avenue for you to get your, your wife and children and parents. ซูเวนิซาเตนะอาซุมฮองอามิตะลาเดนลาวาฮิจิอาซูเวนเซาเตอีฮีคาโลอปอลามะในอินเดียเป็นเซาเตนะเดงลาลัมปีกิโอนซ
Then why? It is to to attend to a whole day to get life to get a whole 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 life to one of the prominent pastors here, so that took away a number of them, otherwise it would be totally full. Uh, <laughs> next week, Saturday, we are having a big gospel concert. The first, the guy who first came up and talked and make everybody laugh, he's the best known Christian comedian. Every time the, 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 name, is, the name is mentioned, everybody laughs, that's literally. By virtue of coming and standing up here, everybody's already happy. So he's our chief guest and also he always sing and then of course there's Zobi Idol, first prize winner there, MP. If you want I can bring them to your office for a cup of coffee next week. They are here for one more week so I'm suffering myself. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, we are very thankful for those who could come and of course a lot of them had to leave for the wedding. It uh, starts at four o'clock so but these remaining are very very interested. I think we had about 350 today in attendance, so that was a good, a good turnout. And all adults. Let me say closing prayer and we we'll dismiss our session today. ส่วนอาคิปันตุปาไวเตอปาตะปันกิจวาปินตุนัยงานเลียนตุปันวัมตะนงซอกเปียนกะลุงอดัมมีอาคิเกนเฮียทุเคมตุอาซาเตอาด